If anybody's out there keeping track of uh, all the people who are outraged by this peanut, the squirrel story, put me down for a big fat yes. And it's, it's not just peanut the squirrel, it's his uh, raccoon buddy named uh, Fred. The whole thing sounds like a Beatles song, right? It's like, well, Fred the raccoon and his buddy peanut were taken out by the New York fascist brigade. That's what has uh, people so upset. Myself and I was in John Wick mode all weekend long. The more I found out about this story, the more the more enraged I became. Yes, the peanut the squirrel story was driving me nuts. It is the sad, sad tale. Ha <laughs> ha! There's like two of them in there. This guy has a uh, whole rescue facility now. Now in his home, he had rescued a squirrel, little peanut. Now, he tried to return Peanut to the wild, uh, but the squirrel couldn't handle it. Came back, it was all jacked up, probably telling crazy stories. Like, I didn't know there was going to be so many Blue Jays, man. They don't, they don't like me. Can I, can I come back home? I'll be good. So he keeps Peanut in the house. He also has the raccoon. You got no problems, right? You're good to go. Well, uh, it turns out Peanut was getting a little Instagram famous, a little internet uh, fame, and somebody, somebody uh, ratted him out. This is what's radicalizing people. This is the moment right here. An, an anonymous caller rings up the, the, the head of wild, the, the big, the New York bureaucracy of wildlife brigade run by that guy who's making like 200K a year. Okay, so so on on an anonymous tip, they uh, they send over like like six officers. Six officers have to go investigate this. Yeah, because that see that's the crime. This is the part that's radicalizing people. See, like like New York State, New York City. You have real crime. You have violent crime. You have you have some really bad stuff going on, and somehow they don't have the time for that. But oh my gosh, someone reported a squirrel. A squirrel? A squirrel might have a disease living in someone's home? Send them all! This is what people don't like. Now, the, the, if the, if the, ironically, if the squirrel would have been like uh, from another country and been here illegally, the squirrel and the raccoon would still be living in the Roosevelt Hotel. They'd have room service and debit cards. They'd put a down payment on a house. They'd be celebrated. But no, this is the kind of crazy-ass priorities people don't want when, when, the, when we're talking about a government. They drop everything, these morons, and they go and they grab the squirrel and they, they grab the raccoon. And they're like, we got to test them for rabies. They might have rabies. Okay, well, the, the squirrel has been here for seven years. I, I think if he had, a, it, he would probably would have shown up by now. Well, we have to test him. He might have rabies. I'm telling you, the squirrel is fine. Well, we have to test him. Will the squirrel survive the test? No. See, that's the problem. A bunch of jackbooted thugs come into your home and they take your pet and they take him out. No American wants that. This isn't a, a, a left or right issue. This is an everybody issue. Boy, everybody got mad at J.D. Vance when he was talking about, oh, the cat ladies and how they're going to vote. Well, I don't, I don't want this. Whatever politics has the time and the money to send a van load of jackbooted thugs to my house to take my pet and 86 it, I don't want that, especially while other real criminals are roaming the streets. Sorry, I don't want that. Whatever that is, I'm going to vote the other way. And I would encourage you to do the same thing. Well, he was an American squirrel Raised by rescuers We have a lot of options. I might do that whole thing.